Hello, band directors. It's Dwayne Huff uh, with Band Leadership Seminars, Band Leadership Online. You may be watching this live. If you are, say hello, drop a comment, ask a question, push back, leave your thoughts, um, because we're going to talk about a very, very, very important topic to uh, your students and your program. As you can see, and I'm reading the title that I put right here, you might be watching this on the replay on my website because you have the same issue that you're trying to resolve. And I'm here to help you resolve this issue uh, tonight. What do you do if you want to train your student leaders, but you don't have the budget? I mean, you don't have the budget. I mean, it's not in the budget. It's not there. What do you do? Well, I have some great news. I have uh, some real answers. I have some tough love that's probably going to upset some people watching this. Um, and I'm probably going to polarize. So just a heads up right there, because um, just like I do with your student leaders, I'm going to remove every potential excuse that you can make why you wouldn't invest in training your leaders. But like I said, I've got some real answers. I've got some solutions. I've got a free gift that I want to give to you in your program at the end of this video. So you'll have to stay tuned. And I'm going to issue a challenge, and I'm going to take the risk on the challenge to the tune of 500 bucks. Okay, so uh, if that's intriguing to you, stay tuned. Do know that there's going to be some tough love here. I'm going to be very direct with you. I'm going to not. I'm not going to pull any punches. Um, it may offend you. If it does, feel free to drop a comment. Let's uh, let's let's talk about it. Um, but when I hear band directors every year. Say, I don't have the money. I don't have the budget. I'd love to have you in, Dwayne. Uh, I'd love to bring my students to a leadership conference. I'd love to invest in your course, in your online course, but we just don't have the money. We don't have the budget. And in the next breath, the band directors are like, well, Dwayne, um, why are my students constantly giving up? Why are they not committed? When things get hard, why do they run away? Why, when we reach out to them and they've been gone, do they ghost us? Why... Um, why can they not set the right example? Why can they not take initiative? Why are they always making excuses? And my answer to that is there's a lot of reasons. You know, many of the people in their lives, many of the adults in their lives that they see do the same thing. But in the past seven years, I've seen band directors do the exact same thing. And the students pick up on it, whether they know it or not. So the first thing that we have to do is make a decision. Do you want to train your student leaders or do you not? Because if you don't, that's cool, right? I have nothing here for you. And if you've liked this page, you may want to unlike it because you're not going to like me. But it's so important to your student leaders to make the investment in them, to grow them as human beings and good, solid people as part of their band journey. But it's very important to your band program to invest in leadership. And I know, having talked to a lot of my band director friends, that the band, that the leadership budget, if there is any, goes to the very bottom. Because if you need a new tuba, there goes the leadership budget. If you need a bus trip, there goes the leadership budget. If you need to buy new equipment or repair equipment or buy a truck or whatever the case is, there goes the leadership budget. And I get it. Like I said at the beginning of this, what if you don't have the budget? What if you want to train your leaders, but you don't have the budget? When I say have the budget, I mean anything from 47 bucks all the way up to 3,000 bucks, depending on what kind of leadership uh, training you want to invest in. So what I'm going to say is this. You're either going to find a way or you're going to make an excuse. There's no exceptions, and that's what I tell the leaders. So I'm talking directly to you, the band director. If you truly know that leadership development is important, and you should, and you really want to make that commitment, there is a way. So I wanted to shoot this video to give you those ways, whether you and I never work together or not, or ever work together or not, because it's not going to be just to serve me. Yes, is this a self-serving video? Yeah, because if you know how to get the money, I would hope that you and I could work together. But then years after that, you'll know the same principles in the same locations to go and get that money. So while there's going to be some tough love here, there's also going to be some great advice that's going to serve you well beyond me. But I'm going to give you a free gift at the end of this video. I'm going to challenge you, but I'm going to take the risk on that challenge to the tune of 500 bucks. So if you're ready, I'm going to jump in here. If you have a comment, you have a question, if you have an idea, if you get mad at me, if you like what I'm saying, whatever the case is, let me know, and we'll talk through it. And if you're watching this on the replay on my website, here's the part where I start giving 
real answers and solutions to how to find money, how to get money, how to create money, how to raise money for your band program. And, and a lot of them, when I say them, you might be tempted to think, oh, we tried that before it didn't work. But hear me out because I'm also going to offer my assistance and my help in helping you find it if you're willing to do it. Now, just like I tell the student leaders, if you're not willing to do the work, if you're not willing to make the commitment, if you're going to make excuses, then this is not for you. You might as well go away now. I've been Mr. Nice Guy for the past seven years, and I've served a lot of band programs, but I get annoyed every year. Whenever I reach out to a band director, they're like, oh, yeah, man, we're going to do it. Ah. Then they ghost me, and for the next three or four months, they're gone, and then they just give up and quit. Does it upset me? It used to. doesn't upset me anymore. It makes me feel sorry for those kids because their band directors are not committed to them. I said it, and I mean it. I've worked with a lot of band directors over the years. I ain't scared of you. <laughs> you need to hear the tough love. So if you're still with me right here, here we go. <laughs> I blew out half my audience on that. But you know what? I want to work with leaders. It, I want to work with leaders who are adults. I want to work with leaders who come up to me and say, you know what, Dwayne? I don't care if the rest of the bands don't participate in this live event that we're putting on. I will pay for it out of pocket if I have to. And you wouldn't believe how many band directors have that attitude. Or they're like, you know what, Dwayne? Let's work something out. Let's find a plan that where we can you know, pay this over time. Or, hey, we can't do the live event, but let's do this, right? So I'm going to give you these one by one. At the end, I'm going to give you a gift, so stay tuned. And then I'm going to offer a challenge. And if I can't meet that challenge, if I can't meet that challenge, I'm going to give you something worth 500 bucks for your band program. So stay tuned if that's intriguing to you. Um, but the first one is this. Let's say, for example, and I'm going to use myself as an example. Let's say that you wanted to invest in my, um, well, let's start big. Let's say you wanted to invest in um, a live seminar with me coming out to your school, but you don't have the budget. It, to bring me out to your school for just your band is $3,000. If you want to do it for a multi-school event, it's $5,000. Dwayne, we don't have that budget. There's no way we can make that happen. I submit to you that, that yes, you can, and here's, here's how we do it. Number one, partner with other schools or other student organizations on your campus. Here's what I mean. I don't mean – Hey, Dwayne, I'm going to reach out to some of my colleagues and figure out if they want to do it. And then if they want to, I'll circle back to. No, no, no. That doesn't work. Why? Because your commitment's not there. Whenever you say, hey, I'm hosting an event. I've made a commitment to it. I want you to join me. That's when it happens. It doesn't happen the other way. And if you can't make it happen with other schools, you reach out to other student organizations on your campus. Um, uh, uh, the athletic department, FBLA, DECA. Uh, 4-H, wherever there are student leaders, you let them know that, hey, let's partner together, guys. We can do an entire student leadership culture because we've been watching this guy for a long time, and he served us in a big way, and he can do phenomenal things. I always offer a 100% money-back guarantee, so nobody's at risk for that, and I've never had that kind of group or anybody else for that matter say, hey, we want our money back. I kill it, and this, universe, uh, this, this leadership is absolutely universal. So – we can partner with organizations on your campus or we can partner with other bands, but you have to make the commitment first. People can smell a lack of commitment three miles away. Number two, and this kind of, go hand, kind of goes hand in hand, you can reach out to your administration. Oh, Dwayne, they're tight. They don't want to give me any money. They don't have no budget. They won't do this. Ah, but what if you tell them, listen, this isn't just to serve the band. It's going to serve the school. It's going to serve this community this community, this community, and this community, or this organization, this organization, this organization, we're just going to put it forth and allow the collective to sponsor it, and we're asking for your support. Now, you have your administrator's attention, okay? Because they see they're not, it's not just about you. It's about other programs, and we sell the benefits of what it can do for the entire stu uh, student body and the school whenever we have more people that are, that are heart-centered servant leaders actually creating that culture on campus. So those are the first two. Number one, partner with other schools. Number two, partner with other organizations on campus and open it up to them. Number three, or maybe a combination of the three, reach out to your administration and offer to include the leadership culture of the school. Did that this year. Uh, a couple of times this past year went phenomenally, and it really starts to spark something. Guys, I believe that we have the answer in leadership especially in the band program, all the bullying, all of the 
unfortunate um, mishaps that happen, all the violence that's been going around at schools. I think BAN has, if not the solution, much of the solution because we're the only community on campus that consistently acts, behaves, works together like a family. And if we can spread that community out amongst the school, the entire school comes up. We minimize the bullying. We reduce the violence or the chance of violence. Not, I'm not saying we have the total answer, but that's how powerful a leadership culture in a school can be. You know it. I'm not telling you something you don't know. It's time to start perpetuating that for the kids, for your programs, and for the schools. So that's why we would want to invite other organizations and include the administration on this because it can help the culture of the school and the entire school. Okay. The next one is this music store sponsorship seems like an easy one and it may be a, a full sponsorship. It may be partial sponsorship. I've got a, uh, I've got a um, music store out in Wichita, Kansas, Cincinnati music. Thank you, Miss Lori Sapini for being consistent in your support. Um, many times music stores will support your event uh, partially or fully sponsor, sponsor the pizza, throw in some money, chip in whatever the case might be to have the opportunity to be branded and whatnot. It's just a phone call or an email or a conversation with your road rep that can open the possibilities because they have the leverage and the power to reach out to the entire community of musicians and music uh, departments and say, hey, we'd like to have this event and we'd love to include you. Would you like to join us? They have the power to reach out. And so a simple conversation with your road rep or if you have a relationship with the music store, it's a simple conversation. You'd be surprised. And maybe they put in some, the other groups put in some, the administration puts in some, and all of a sudden you're starting to build momentum with funding for your event. If you really want to train and develop your leaders, these are the ways to do it, the real ways, the ways that I've learned from other band directors and the ways that I've seen work. So this is not just making this stuff up. This is real time, right? So if you really want to train and develop your leaders, whether you use me or not, there's always money to be found. Just because it's not in the budget doesn't mean it's not there, right? So that's the next one. The next one I have is instead of taking on the full burden, and this kind of goes with number one, but taking on the full burden of doing the full $3,000, we can, and I'm doing this for many schools across the country this year, we can do a $25 per student registration. And we have to have, depending on where you are, um, 100 to 200 students minimum to make it happen, but the more the merrier. Because this is not just a leadership event, it's a team building event. And the more band programs bring, the more students, the more the merrier. But the stronger their band gets because everybody walks away on the same page. This is a leadership, deep dive, and team building experience. So $25 a pop, people all of a sudden start saying, oh, wait a minute. And if you're interested in that, send me a message, reach out to me. I'll send you a special registration page. And we can initiate that conversation with area bands. No harm, no foul, no risk. Just an effort to test the waters. So nobody's really out anything, but you'll be surprised at how effective that is. The next one is ask your boosters, right? That seems like an obvious one if you have a booster organization. Sometimes people don't think about it, and that's cool. These are just things, excuse me. I got passionate and fired up about this. I wanted to shoot this video for you, and I just got finished eating, so I'm trying to keep. Um, anyway, so uh, ask your boosters, you know, and, and many times uh, – and I'm going to get to this one later, but many times it's not just about asking your boosters. It's about what can you give in exchange to your boosters if they're on the fence? Or what could you have the students do for your boosters if they're on the fence? One of the things that I've done in the past, I say, okay, great. If the boosters are on the fence, here's what I'll do for them. After I'm finished with the student event, I'll stay and do a couple of hours with them. Um, helping them be a better group of boosters, helping them with fundraising ideas or teaching them some of the things that we taught in leadership to the students so that they can be more effective as an organization. And they eat that up. And if it's not that, it could be something else. So we need to talk about it if that's something you want to explore and look into. Again, I'm going to teach you these things. I hope we can work together and I hope you'll use it to find the money to work with me. But even after I'm gone, Time and time again, you're going to need money and budget for your band program, no matter what you're trying to find. These are ways to make it happen. And if you have this whole list of them, then you don't have to do the same one every time. It benefits your band for years and years and years and years. You don't have the stress and the headache of trying to worry about where am I going to get the funding to provide for this or that, right? So this isn't just about me. It's about your program. That's why I'm very animate about this. 
right? So hopefully this is serving you. If you're watching this on the replay, or if you have a comment, if you don't agree with me, or if you've, well, if you've left already, I'll probably upset you. Um, but remember, I got a free gift for you at the end of this. You're going to want this free gift, and I'm going to offer, uh, issue a challenge. And if I fail the challenge, you get 500 bucks, not 500 bucks directly, $500 worth of value for your band program. So stay tuned. Ask boosters. Look for donors or sponsors. I had a band last year. Um, they just put the word out to the parents. And they said, hey, we're looking for sponsorship. Uh, we'd like to bring this guy in. We're looking into other avenues. If anybody knows anybody, please let me know. A parent stepped up and said, we'll cover the whole thing. The whole 3,500 bucks. No arm twisting. Uh, no begging. You never know who's in your audience. You never know who's on your email list. You never know who's in the booster organization. You never know who's at the school. You never know the benefactors. Um, if I said that correctly, sorry. <laughs> um, it, the, the, the people, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The philanthropist, if you will. I guess it's a better way to say it. Uh, the people who are donating and giving and looking for a place to put their money, not only personally, but businesses, local business areas, have, have your students take initiative, take the role and say, hey, guys, first leadership challenge. We need to come up with enough funding to host a leadership program here because we need it for our band to make you stronger, to make our band program stronger. And um, I want each of you to go and connect with Three businesses, whether you know somebody who knows somebody or just walk in and tell them what you're doing, and you'll be surprised. For some reason, businesses uh, and business owners and the people in those businesses are more open and receptive to students requesting, asking, um, and coming in and telling them what they're doing, looking for sponsorship than they are when adults do it. So give your students some charge to spearhead that and challenge them. Maybe offer a nice prize for those who get the most sponsorship. Um, number 10, and this will be the last one, because this kind of incorporates all the other ones that I'm talking about here. And there's some other ones, and if you have some ideas, drop them in the comments there. Other band directors would love to hear about it, um, and I'd love to hear about it, right? But the last one is this, exchange aligned value with another person, group, organization, entity, business, sponsorship, whatever the case might be. Here's what I mean by that, aligned value. This is what I teach kids. How many times have you ever offered something to somebody, asked for something, gave something to somebody, did for something to somebody, recommended something to somebody, suggested something to somebody, only to have them say, no, thank you, don't want it, don't need it, we're not doing that, and push back? How'd that make you feel? Lousy. What happened? Well, you were trying to get them to buy into, do, give, or be a part of something that they did not value. So if you're aligning the value, what your goal there is is to say, okay, if I'm going to ask this person to help us, to donate, to participate, to sponsor, to be a part of this, to contribute to this, to partner with us, what can I give them a value in exchange that they actually want, need, expect, or would value? And that just takes conversation of understanding who that person is, what they're looking for. In other words, what could your students do? What could you do? What could your band program do? Whether it's the marching band, the jazz band, the orchestra, the concert band, whatever it is. What could you in exchange do or give or be for that other organization in order for them to want to work with you, partner, participate, sponsor? And ask yourself this. This is this is I teach negotiations um, to to corporate people, um, small, medium, and large size companies. But I also teach students in leadership how to negotiate because whether they know it or not, they're constantly negotiating with you, with their peers, trying to get things working together. So here's a negotiation lesson: always try to find something that's of high value to the other party, cost you little to nothing, that you can give to them. And in return, when you ask people for things, ask for things that cost them little or nothing, but mean a lot to you. So number 10 is create aligned value. So just to recap real quick, if you want a quick list, number one, if you're looking for money and you don't have it in your budget, but you really want to train your leaders, whether you use me or not, I hope you would that I've shared this information with you, but from years to come, 
you'll be able to use these concepts not only to pay for leadership training and development, but also um, musical instruments, repairs, funding for trips, whatever the case is that you might need, funding to Disney World. These lists of items will serve you. And uh, whenever I post this on the website, uh, and, and even after this, I'll go and I'll make this list underneath so you'll see it, and you can see it as a quick reference. Maybe you can keep it handy. But here's the recap real quick. Since I'm here live, if you have a comment, you have a question, you have an idea, you don't like what I'm saying, you do like what I'm saying, whatever. If you love this, give it a heart. If you think it would serve another band director, please forward this to them. But here's the list. Number one, partner with another school or with other organizations on campus. Number two, go to your administration. Ask them to help you to support to sponsor. And in exchange, you'll include more of the leadership community, the other student organizations on campus as part of it, selling to them and impressing upon them how important it is to the culture, the safety, the betterment of the school to have leaders spread throughout all organizations. It strengthens and grows the school. Number, I'm going to get out of order here, but number four, um, have a students do a fundraiser. You know, Put them in charge and say, look, guys, your first leadership task, we're going to go apprentice style here. Here's a challenge. Here's a contest. Whoever gets the most or whoever raises the most money gets a prize. Here it is. And maybe get a donation from a local business or the music store as a prize. Another way they'd love to sponsor. Ask the music store for a sponsorship. Host a $25 per student registration event. If you want to do that, reach out to me. I'll send you the information. The page is already in place. We can put the fillers out to the community, see where it goes. And we might find that we do a combination of these things. Uh, the next one, ask your boosters. And if your boosters are on the fence and not really sure, provide something of value. And there's a couple of things that I can do to add value to that experience that will push them over the edge. I've done it time and time and time again to make them uh, want to support your event. Uh, the next one, look for donors amongst your parents, amongst your email list, amongst the community, and sponsors. That could be personals or individuals or businesses. Have the kids uh, do a canvas to different businesses to let them know what's going on. Hey, we're hosting a live leadership event. We're looking for people who want to support that to improve the quality of the school because we're going to improve leadership and kids are going to have lifelong skills. How much can you guys um, contribute or what part would you like to play in this even on a, even on a small level, you know, uh, or on a big level, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to minimize that. Um, the next one is exchange line value. Remember, think about giving something to the other party that you're asking for support, sponsorship or money from, something that they would highly value that cost you little to nothing. What can you be? What can you do? What can you exchange with that other organization? So there's the list. If you'd like to work with me personally, reach out to me. You can go over to bandleadershipseminars.com where you can pick up the free gift that I promised you, which is um, the brand new free band leadership mini course. Many of you know that I have a full eight hour course that I sell for $500, um, but I just put together seven, eight videos. Uh, the three videos that have been serving bands for the last seven years that people absolutely love. I threw three more in there that were popular and responsive on YouTube. And then I just shot one yesterday about how to be a leader, even if you don't have a title. And then I created a special one hour video for you, the band directors, how to teach student leadership. And in that um, online course, uh, that free course, there's two bonuses. Number one is a voucher for $100 off of my band leadership online course, which brings a 500 to 400. And um, a $500 voucher uh, for my band leadership um, live event, which is $3,000, bringing the $2,500. The only caveat is that you have to finish the progress of the course to qualify to use that voucher. So that's the free gift. You can run to bandleadershipseminars.com and get uh, access to that. And here's the challenge that I want to enter, uh, it, issue out to you. If you're still with me, if you like some of these ideas, but you still think to yourself, Dwayne, there's no way we're going to find that money. I've tried all those things. It will not work. Then I want to invite you to challenge me. And I want to have a conversation with you about the limitations or the lack of budget or the things that you've tried. And I want us to spend some time on the phone or over a video conference spitballing ideas. And if I cannot find a creative way to get that money to you or get you that money to invest in my online course or my live program and then be able to do that same thing years and years and years and years to come, if I can't make that happen for you. Now, you've got to commit. 
You've got to be willing to put up, put up the work. You've got to be in it to win it. But if you are, I invite you to challenge me that I can find the funding and the budget for you. And if I can't, if I absolutely cannot, and I throw in the towel and I'm say, I say, I'm sorry, I, I, I just can't make this happen, I will give you my entire online course, $500 worth, the entire thing for a full year free of charge just for allowing me to try to help you put together the funds to support the training and development of your leaders because it's that important to your program and it's that important to those students. And guys, I've been holding off on making this case for a very long time because I didn't want to offend anybody. But at the end of the day, if you don't have the money and the budget to train and develop your leaders and you believe it's important, it's simply because you're making excuses. There's no easy way to say it. It's like I tell the leaders, you're either going to uh, serve, you're going to commit, you're going to give it everything you've got, you're going to fight against the obstacles, or you're going to make excuses. And I know you, as a band director, have everything in it and invested in these kids. Leadership should be no different. So take my challenge. Take these items. Find the budget to train your leaders and develop them for their long-term success. And if you can't, reach out to me. Let's talk about it and challenge me because all you have to lose is a free online course valued at 500 bucks. But right now you have a free gift from me because I want to serve you and your leaders because I realize there's people watching this right now that aren't going to do it, but they still need to train and develop their leaders. And I'm here to serve first and foremost. So run over to bandleadershipseminars.com. On the very homepage, you'll see a red link it shows you where to access the course. So I hope this has served you. I hope it's caused you to think of some ideas. I hope that uh, you took this the right way and the tough love was meant from my heart because I'm so sick and tired of seeing student leaders suffer because band directors give up and quit before they find the money. Oh, Dwayne, we just don't have the money. Bull, you can find the money. I can help you find the money. And it's not just about me. It's about your program. And if you want the resources for your program, you got to know where to look. You got to know where to go. You got to know how to ask. And you got to know how to do it in a way that benefits and serves the people that you're trying to partner with, trying to sponsor, trying to connect with and get support for your band program. And I can show you how to do that if you're willing. But run over to bandleadershipseminars.com. Pick up that free gift. Challenge me if you just beat your head up against the wall and say, there's no way we're going to find this money. I invite you to challenge me. Dwayne, let's get on the phone. I will prove to you I can't find money. And I will give you $500 course, absolutely free. Have a great evening. Thanks for listening to me rant and ramble if you're watching this on the replay on my website. Um, I apologize for the long, drawn-out rant, but I hope you get some ideas that will help you find funding for leadership development for your students and also your band program. Please tag a band director in this that you think would benefit from this or share it with them. If you like this, give me a heart or a wow. If you didn't like it, drop a comment and tell me what a jerk I am. Um, but at some point, let's work together. Let's train and develop those leaders. Let's make your program the strongest it can be, and let me help you to make that happen. Have a great day. Have a great evening, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.